Hey guys, uh, sorry for the abrupt volume changes lately. It should be smooth sailing from here on in with regard to that. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of fluid dynamics and we're going to classify some flows. So both velocity and pressure may change with time and position in reality. In this course, we represent velocity by the vector u equal to ui plus vj plus wk. Uh, this is termed the velocity field and it's only dependent on um, position. In reality, velocity is dependent on time as well, but in most cases that we'll be considering in this course, it is correct to assume that velocity doesn't change with time. And we term this a steady flow. So the condition for a steady flow is that the de derivative of velocity with time is equal to zero. So looking at the steady flow velocity field, uh, there are three components, each in different directions. If we have uh, this instance here where we have three um, directions of flow, we term that a three-dimensional flow. If one of these equals zero, say for the, the W component, Equal, equals zero, then we have a two-dimensional flow and same thing for a one-dimensional flow when we only have one uh, direction of velocity where the other two are zero. So this case here um, applies to everything because it has the capabilities to for three-dimensional flow uh, and you just set each of these to zero depending on whether it's a one, two or three-dimensional flow. So if a velocity field is uniform, um, then there is no variation in flow with position. So if we look at this in a one-dimensional flow, here we have flow only in, say, the x direction. There's no vertical flow or flow out of the page. Um, this flow is constant. Um, so if you look at uh, the change of velocity with height, there, there is no change. 